plasma wake field acceleration technology can accelerate particles much much stronger up to a factor thousand more particles which are predicted in theory become very interesting for physics for example dark photons all the accelerators which we have so far we use a conventional technology which is called the cavities and when the particles passes through it they feel this electric field and they get accelerated there so the strength of accelerating these particles, how much energy can you give them per meter, is limited by this technology. And this limit is, in our terminology, about 100 megavolt per meter. So, and this plasma wake field acceleration technology now is another technology where you can accelerate particles much, much stronger, up to a factor thousand more. So instead of giving them a kick of MeV per meter, you can give them one GeV per meter, so a factor thousand stronger there. Which means then if you want to build a linear accelerator, for example, you can make this linear accelerator much, much shorter. The concept of plasma wake field acceleration uh, can be explained in, in a very nice picture and it really explains it rather well. So you have to imagine you have a lake and then you have a boat going through this lake and this boat produces wake fields in the back. And then you have some surfers and the surfers jump on these wake fields and these surfers then get accelerated. And that's exactly what we are doing in plasma wake field acceleration. So the lake is our plasma and the boat is the proton beam which we get from the CERN accelerator complex and the surfers are electrons which we are inject and we have them accelerated. So, so at the end, we inject a proton beam into our 10 meter long plasma source, the lake. And this proton beam drives wake fields, so it's our boat. And then we inject electrons and they get then, they jump and they're on the right wave, of course, we have to make sure that that happens. And then they get accelerated to very high energies and that's where they get this very strong kick there. So what is unique at CERN here? is that it's the very first time and the only place worldwide where we use protons, a proton bunch as a boat to drive this wake field. So it's our drive beam is a proton beam. We are interested in, in increasing the energies um, to discover new particles, um, to produce new particles and that is all also to understand the, our the matter, to go deeper, deeper into understanding of our uh, matter there. Um, so, we, if we want to accelerate particles to higher energies, we need huge, uh, bigger accelerators there. So we can have these uh, circular colliders or also linear colliders. When you have a, a linear collider, here the limitation is you need to accelerate these particles to this energy. And they only go, go through this, uh, they have a single pass through these accelerating elements. Because in, in a circular collider they get a kick and another kick, so you can really increase the energy up to, up to the level you want to have. Whereas in a linear collider it's only one kick and that's it. So if you don't have a very strong um, um, accelerating element there, or it's, it, it doesn't give it a strong kick, then of course it makes, it, uh, it, it makes the uh, linear colliders very long. And that's now where this plasma wake field acceleration technology becomes interesting because with this technology we can give the particles an accelerating kick much, much stronger. So instead of having these very long uh, uh, colliders then, we could shrink them and, and make them smaller.